Okay, hello, let's go. So now we're going to proceed to create ourselves our own user because again, we do not want to be using the root account. This should be a rarely used and we should just create ourselves a user. So we'll hit manage users here. We're going to hit add user. I'm gonna create a new one called Andrew Brown. We're gonna give it programmatic access and access to the console. We're gonna let it auto generate a password for us. And we're going to make sure that it requires a password reset the next time this user logs in. Going to permissions, we don't have any groups. So we're gonna create a group here. And we're gonna call this group an admin or admins, I should say. And we're gonna give it administrator access. Now, um, generally you don't want to be giving too many users uh, admin access because this gives you full access, just like a root account. Uh, but for uh, our purposes here, this is totally fine. It's not unusual to have one or two admins within your entire account, but generally you want to set most people as power user. Okay, and uh, this is a uh, it gives you full access, but there are uh, some uh, limitations such as you don't have the ability to manage users and groups. So um, power user is a very good one here, but for uh, this one here, we are going to stick with admin. I'm going to hit create group, and we are going to go ahead and hit next and review, and we will hit create user. And so now what it will do is we're going to get an access key ID, a secret, and a password. So I'm just going to expose those here. And uh, I'm just gonna copy these off screen, all right? And then we will just proceed uh, here. Okay, so I just copied um, at least my password off screen here. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to make my way uh, back to the IAM console. So we'll just go up here, services, and we can just type in IAM. Okay, and so uh, now we um, have done pretty much everything uh, here except for setting a password policy so um, just before we go ahead and set a password policy, what I want to do is I want to uh, log into this new user. So we have this nice long URL here. So I want you to copy that URL. And what we're gonna do is we're going to log out and now log in as um, uh, that new uh, user, okay? So I'll just go ahead here and log out. Great, so I'm logged out here. And so the way we can get to that page is we can paste in that URL up here which will uh, bring us to the console. And so you can you can always use that link, or if you can remember that alias, you can always just go to the console and type it in there. And so my name was Andrew Brown here. I'm just gonna go off screen and grab my password. And I'm just gonna hit sign in here. All right, and so now I just need to reset my password here. So I'm gonna provide the old password and we are going to set a new password. Great, and so now I'm logged in, um, not as the root user, but as uh, a new user I've created. And uh, just one more thing here, I want to go uh, back to IAM here. And the reason I wanna go back here is that I exposed my um, access key and password to you. And anytime that actually happens, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your user there. Uh, and I'm gonna go to Andrew Brown here, and we're gonna go to uh, our security credentials. And you can see that was that access key and you uh, saw that password. So what I can do is I can make it inactive and then I can create myself another access key. And I'm not gonna show you the secret this time around, but it's just, um, uh, you know, anytime you uh, accidentally share your credentials, you're definitely going to uh, want to reset them there. And uh, the password that you saw earlier, it doesn't matter because I reset my password when I logged in here, okay? So now that that is all set up, um, uh, what we will do is we will log out of this account and we will log back in as the root account to set up a password policy. Okay, and I just want to show you when I go to sign into the console, it's going to show me um, this filled in. And so whenever we're logging in as the root account, we actually have to click this link down below. Um, and so uh, we would just type in our email here. But if I wanted to log back in as that user, I could just type in here exam pro fresh and it would bring me back to here and I would fill in this information. But if you're always logging in as the root user, I'm just gonna click back there. It's always your email. I know that's a little bit confusing, but that's just how it works. And so this time around, I got the MFA, so I can't just log in willy nilly. So I'm just gonna use my phone and I'm going to open up Authenticator and I have to provide it that code, okay? So it's those numbers again. So this one's gonna be 904361. I'm gonna hit submit. And so now I'm back into my account and we'll make our way back to IAM and, and do that last step there.